Hey guys, welcome back to another video with me, Louise Egan from winitwordpress.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to change stock levels in WooCommerce. I'm going to be showing you how to do it with a single product, which is a lot easier, and also with a variable product, which is a small bit harder. But once you get the hang of it, it's no problem at all. So let's get started. All right, so as I said, today I'm going to be showing you how to change the stock levels for both simple products and also for variable products. So the first thing you want to do is you want to come onto your... WordPress dashboard and you want to go into WooCommerce and then products and you want to find the product that you want to change the stock levels for. So for me I'm going to change this simple product here, it's an ebook and then I'm going to show you how to change a more a variable product um, for these leggings here, how to change the stock because each way is different. So first of all for a simple product you want to click here and go into edit on the uh, product that you want to change the stock for. And then what you want to do is uh, once it loads like this you want to just come down to product data down the bottom. So here we have product data and for a simple product you just want to go into inventory and then just uh, you can set your stock status and you can if you want to tick to enable stock management you can put in your qu stock quantity um, and you can change basically how many you have in stock. So let's say if you just sold a simple product of just one t-shirt and there was no variations in terms of color or size or anything then you could just put in your stock level in here, but because it's an ebook, I, ha I had this unticked because um, there is no, basically, there's no um, amount of stock. I can sell as many as I want. Um, so that's, if you want to change the stock for a simple product, simply come in here and just change this number right here. Then for a variable product, you want to come into your same thing, come into your product again and click on edit. And then what you want to do is, say exact same thing, you want to go down to where your product data is, but you just do it slightly different then when, once you actually get there. So we'll just go down to our product data. So here we go. So you can change your stock quantity for your whole stock. Um, so let's say for these leggings, I have eight, five different sizes. So I have 79 in stock between all my five sizes, you know. Um, so this is for the whole product, including all the sizes. And then to change the sizes for each variation, you want to go down here to variations and uh, then you want to click into each one. So click here on the eight and this drop down menu will drop down. Now you might not notice this is here if you just come on your first time and you're thinking, how do I change the stock for each one? You actually just need to click on each one and then go down and you can change the stock quantity for this exact size. Uh, you can see there's a lot else that you can edit as well for each size. Um, you can change the sale price just for each size and whatnot. But that is basically how you change the stock quantity for a variable product. You can change the overall uh, quantity in inventory and then you can change the stock quantity for each size so you can have oops, uh, you can have uh, you know whatever you want in there then go down and do the next one and put in the stock quantity for that size and just keep going until they're all done make sure to save your changes and then update it when you're done and that's it your stock uh, quantities have been updated in WooCommerce so I hope this helped guys and I'll see you in the next video so there you have it I really hope this helped I hope you have a better understanding of how to change stock levels in WooCommerce Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel guys, that would really really help um, me to keep growing this channel and keep giving you the best content that I can. Um, in the comments if you'd like to let me know, uh, you know, if there's anything that you that I can help you with, anything at all, any tips or tricks that you'd like to know or if there's anything that you're stuck on to do with WooCommerce or WordPress, uh, I'd be more than happy to help you with that. So uh, thanks very much guys and I'll see you in the next video.